Jed here to talk about the Agent Dashboard. This can be used to see your personal productivity and real-time details for the queues you're assigned to. You must be assigned as an agent to at least one queue if you want to use this dashboard. I'll be using the desktop app for this video, but GoTo can be accessed at this site. I've already signed in as a user Lance Bingham, and this is the home screen. Take note of the left navigation menu. You may see different icons here, depending on what options are available with your GoTo plan. If you have more than one line extension associated with your account, click this drop-down list and select the one that corresponds with your desired Contact Center account. Click Contact Center from the left navigation menu. If you're not seeing it, like in my case here, click the More icon, and then select Contact Center. Take note of the Agent section. You will only see this if you have been added as an agent to a queue. If you are not there already, click Overview. This is your Agent Dashboard. From here, you can see the different queues and change your status. Let's look at the filter options at the top of the page. Currently, I am seeing everything. I could filter things according to their queue type, which are Call, Campaigns, and Chat. As it stands right now, Lance is logged out of all queues and unable to take calls. Let's change that. Click this button, which will either say Log into Queues or display the Agent Status drop-down list. On the Overview screen, only the assigned queues will be shown. Even if you are logged into an unassigned queue, it will not display there. Click the Assigned Queues drop-down list. The status of the queues you see in the Overview section is determined by what is checked from this list. Only those selected will display the status of Ready Now. There are separate sections for the queues you are assigned to and those which you are not. You can, however, choose to log into a queue you are not assigned to. This is a great option to be aware of in case you need to help out with another queue that can use extra help. If you make any changes, be sure to click Apply. Click the Agent Status drop-down list. From here, you can select the appropriate status for yourself. Let's say, for example, I needed to pause myself to finish a customer-related email. In that case, I select Email. A timer can now be seen indicating how long I've been in that respective status. The number next to a drop-down list allows me to see the queues that the status applies to. I can then select the agent status drop-down again whenever I need to change that to something else. That method showed you how you could change your status for all queues simultaneously. If you want to change the status only for a single queue, click the respective My Status drop-down list and select the appropriate change. Let's look at the information for one of these queues. We can see how many callers are waiting and how many agents are logged in. We can also see stats related to call duration and how many were handled. Click the settings icon in the top right corner. As one final thing, let me talk about the options you see here. Although I won't go into it in this video, you have the opportunity to create and use pre-saved text messages and pre-recorded audio messages. These allow you to increase productivity and reduce the need to retype frequently used messages. That's all there is to using the Agent Dashboard with GoTo.